Hello everyone. Welcome to the Trend Investor channel. Last week I did stage analysis part 1. Now this week we're going to focus on stage analysis part 2 or the stage 2 uptrend which is nothing but how to identify stocks that are entering an uptrend or entering a markup phase or entering a advancing stage. You can call it how you want, but we are interested in this stage 2 because this is where we make money. right so let's get started now as i said if you haven't watched the previous part to understand stage 1 because it's a prerequisite to understand this do watch this video i made last week but today we're going to focus on this part basically where stocks are heading higher after stage 1 formation is complete right now this is the most important stage that every investor or trader needs to focus irrespective of whether you are a trader or whether you are a personal trader or investor this is where everyone makes money it's not here that most of them make money okay and um yeah there are two more parts to this video series it will come in the next two weeks so first um i just want to do a recap this is a strategy which is applicable on only the weekly charts it is a long term investing strategy it is not a short term invest trading strategy okay all you need is trading view moving averages and volume so let's get started with the stage 2 advancing phase now these are guidelines from standmind's team and it's not something that i have made them on my own but i'm going to tell you how to you know interpret them based on my understanding as well so the first important rule is if you're a trader investor you need to be able to spot stocks that are entering stage 2 uptrend or entering an uh, advancing stage or entering a markup phase what do we call it now this is the best time to buy because a stock has actually completed the stage 1 formation where in summary a stage 1 is nothing but a stock goes sideways for many years or many months and it just goes sideways where the 30 week moving average is just flat almost right so if you draw kind of a line here it will almost be flat whereas in a stage 2 stock the 30 week moving average is almost slanting up right now the first important rule in uh, identifying a stage 2 stock is the stock needs to break out from the resistance points that you found in stage 1 now in stage 1 a stock a whip saws around the 30 30 week moving average up and down the rule i mentioned in the previous video is that you have to mark the most significant swing highs and swing lows and here the significant high swing high and lows is these points that have been marked here or if you don't know how to mark them you can use the pivot high low indicator which i also have made a video on that do watch that and you can mark the significant highs on the weekly charts of a stock Now, once you identify the significant points on the weekly chart of a stock, you need to draw a trend line and connecting the points there, and you will see something like this, right? And when the stock breaks out of this trend line here, that is the point when a stage two is potentially starting. Remember, it's just potentially or probably starting. You cannot really confirm whether this will go up and crack down, right? So, but you have to take a trade. depending on a lot of other parameters like fundamentals and all of that but remember once a stock breaks out from this significant trend line which is nothing but the connection points connected to the significant highs of the weekly charts that is when a stage 2 uptrend is starting right also remember the other rule is volumes must be good on breakout so when a breakout happens from this trend line the volumes need to be very good okay now another point for you to note is in a stage 2 uptrend there's always going to be you know move up and a move down a move up move down or a consolidation move up and down so it's always the stock will take two steps forward and one step backward what do i mean by that if a stock goes up 50% it's likely to correct at least 20% in the short term before it again crosses the previous highs and it heads eventually higher right so unless you don't see the cr price crossing below significantly and making a lower high it is totally fine and to let that stock run so for example let's say a stock goes up and it comes down slightly below the moving average and then it crosses the previous high again now that is not a violation of a stage 2 uptrend a stage 2 violation will happen when a stock comes down it goes above but it doesn't cross above the 30 week moving average and it again crosses and crosses below the previous swing low that is when a stage 2 ends we'll come to that in uh, the next part of the series but until the stock respects the 30 day moving average 30 week moving average you need to stay in the stock and that's what stage 2 and that's what stan weinstein suggests in his stage 2 guidelines okay so unless all the price action is about 30 week moving average you have to stay in the stage 2 stock now the next part is that 
before the stock breaks out of stage two, you will notice the stock is making higher lows. Now, if you see from this point, the stock has made this low point here, then this low is higher to the previous low and this low is higher again to the previous low and this low is again higher. So basically the stock is rising, it's going up, coming down, going up, coming down and the lows are rising. It's very important to note that when a breakout happens that the stock lows have been rising. Now, for example, here, this was a one way move up. Right now here, there is not this pattern where the stock goes and makes lower highs. So here, yes, it is a lower high before, but you would not buy here because the stock has a one way move up here. But whereas here, the stock is going sideways, also making higher lows on the weekly charts. And that's why this is a nice stage one base and a breakout confirms the stage two uptrend. Now, remember in a stage one consolidation base, uh, usually the fundamentals are not yet improving and the stock breaks out and that's the point when the fundamentals start improving. Not many would notice it yet. And finally, a lot of people would start talking about the stock when the stock has already risen quite a lot. So in case you are looking at a stock and the stock is breaking out from a stage one and entering a stage two, but the fundamentals have are not really looking great. Now, that's how the stocks fundamentals would look like in a stage one and when a stock is entering stage two. Now remember, the markets are always ahead of you. So the markets will know that if the results are going to come good and the stock will already start reacting and the price would start moving higher. So if you're looking at a balance sheet or a PL statement and if the stock is entering stage two and if the PL and balance sheet is not looking good, it is most likely that that is a past event, right? The markets are predicting probably that the company will start turning around, start posting profits, or it could be acquired by someone else. And that's why the stock is entering stage two. So always ensure to keep this one insight in mind. When a stock is entering stage two, the fundamentals need to be not very great, but the company should be, at least in historical sense, it has to be doing good. And if it has not been doing it for the, just for a few months, a few quarters, then it's most likely the stock would enter a stage to uptrend and also fundamentals start improving. Okay, uh, just rewind this part last five minutes or so and try to you know understand this concept. Okay, now as the stock progresses, a lot of people will start noticing and uh, you would be buying here. A lot of people would not be happy with you buying the stock because they think the company is bad, but they will start talking about the company here when the stock has already posted a couple of good quarters of results. Right now, one thing to notice is as and when the stock starts moving up, the width between the 30 week moving average and the price action will start increasing, right? If you see here, the 30 week moving average the price is very close to each other. Whereas here, if you see the distance is increasing, increasing, and then it kind of closes back again and again it increases. And this width will start widening and be, keep increasing as the stock tends to head into the late part, late stages of stage two uptrend. So the fundamental rule here should be look for stocks breaking out of stage one and in entering stage two and focus on fundamentally good stocks or stocks which you know have done well in the past but just have some short term um, you know uh, problems in the company or short term industry cycle problems because the stock is not really doing well okay that's what you want to focus on if a company has not posted really good results for many years it is likely that the stock the company would not post good results going forward as well or it might be just a couple of good years and then again stock goes down so try to focus on companies which have good ROC, ROE, and which are profitable, which are low debt, and try to apply this concept and you might do well. Okay, so that's the guidelines from Standard Mind's team for identifying the stage to advancing phase. Now, moving forward, there are some things that you should not be doing. The first thing is you should not be buying the stock somewhere around here. That's what most of us do because that's when a lot of TV channels start talking about the stock and you tend to buy because you have FOMO and your friends are talking about it and that's why you want to buy the stock. So buying a stock at this stage is not recommended. If a stock is already up a few hundred percent po percentage points from here, then do not buy the stock. Ignore that stock and move on to some other stock. There are thousands of stock in the markets and there are always stocks going up, down. So you will have opportunities. Do not let FOMO suck you in. One more point to note is, let's say you want to buy a stock somewhere here. Again, you should not be buying because the stock is already up significantly here and wait for a pullback towards the 30 week moving average. Or you could also use 20 day moving average, 50 day moving average, whatever it is. But try to buy the stock after a uh, move down or around this point over here, right? Or around this point over here. Now remember, a stock reversing from the 30 week moving average is likely to continue and head higher, especially if the volumes have been good. You see the volumes have been good here. The volumes have been good here again. And whenever this move again happens, reverses from 30 week moving average is when you have to buy. Do not buy in this 
phase over here in this phase over here buy when the stock consolidates and breaks out but do not buy when the stock has already rallied 20 percent in a couple of weeks so that's how you should buy and that's what i mentioned here what you should do buy the stock on initial breakout either here or on the first pullback or on second pullback now this is ideally quite late in the stocks price you can check crypto chart and see in the past how it's done right uh, and exit when the stock breaks the higher 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 high higher low structure so a stock going up like this right you trying to hold you tend to hold the stock and when it starts breaking this level over here and going down that's when you exit right you do not want to hold on to a stock which is showing the opposite of this price action that's very important and the last point is when you're on significant profits and you feel like telling this uh, telling your friends to buy the stock or telling your friends i made so much of profit that's the point you need to really be careful because when we are really uh, high on uh, spirits especially high on profits uh, that's the point you have to probably be very careful because everyone is talking about it you're so happy that you've done so well um, so you need to ensure that you book profits at the right time okay so which scanner to use as i always say uh, my weekly scanner crossing 100 will identify stage 2 stocks stage 2 stocks very well and you just need to ensure the profits uh, are good the company doesn't have any debt and the revenue is growing probably at a steady pace for the last 5 years or so right so this is a stock to look forward to if you want to identify stage 2 stocks okay some examples from the past um, so this was one of the examples of davat now davat has be was in a very strong downtrend if you see the stock never went even above the 30 week moving average but then it started going up and down right now when i said i covered this previously when our stock moves down and if it goes up wait for it to come back down again before you buy the breakout right and then the 30 day 30 week moving average started going sideways and then we had a breakout here and the stock started trending higher and then made a pull back towards 30 week moving average that's the second point you can buy if you missed here then buy over here right again 30 week moving average if you went high came down went high went down, came down right so it's a beautiful trend on davat it's still in uptrend um, and it's still doing well so that's one of the examples in stage 2 right next stock is vishnu chemicals again a beautiful setup from a stage 1 stage now this point over here see the, there was a breakout here but this was a breakout failure right now when the stock broke out from this uh, low it was a point you had to exit the stock in fact you should have ex exited the stock somewhere around this point when you saw the stock is trying to cross 30 week moving average but it got rejected multiple times and also had a breakdown that's the point you have to exit the stock right now never hold on to a stock which is not respecting 30 week moving average and then we had a nice sideways movement a flat 30 week moving average the stock went sideways and then it made a beautiful beautiful green candle here breakout from the pivot point here and the 30 week moving average is trending up we had a beautiful volumes and the stock is respecting 30 week moving average now that's what you need to notice whenever stock respects and makes a move up that's when you buy and when you hold that stock and then if you see the stock went up you see 30 week moving average the gap between kept increasing and then eventually the stack stock really did well going forward right the last stock uh, i want to discuss also is bombay dying now this is not a holy grail strategy now i keep repeating this again and again there is no holy grail in markets now again if you take example of bombay dying now remember bombay dying is not a very fundamentally strong company and if you see we had a breakout here with volumes everything was satisfied and then we had a breakdown so if you bought bombay dying thinking it's entering stage 2 you should have exited the stock somewhere around here at least if you did not exit somewhere here at least you should have exited here because it did not really respect the rules of stage 2 guidelines from stan weinstein so th this is <laughs> the final point i wanted to say uh, always stick to your stop loss it's not a holy grail strategy and stop loss is the only thing which can save your money so if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video as well so i'm going to leave you here take care stay safe trade safe i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in another video soon bye bye